Hi everybody. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use your Z offset in light burn. This will work for any laser you're doing as long as you use light burn. I have an Omtech Polar, but it'll work for any of your machines. Basically what the Z offset will do is if you are trying to engrave at a defocus by a couple centimeter, or a couple millimeters or however far you're defocusing, and then you don't wanna stop your machine and then reset it to cut, you can use the Z offset. It will automatically lower your lens to the proper appropriate height. Let me get the machine turned around and we'll show you how to do this. Okay, so I have my machine on and I've opened up light burn here. I've got a little graphic that I'm gonna use to show this. So I've just got this little buffalo here and I've got my settings for it. I'm engraving on a piece of uh, leatherette from Hyde Bond right now. So 218, I'm gonna keep the air off because of what I'm engraving. Then what I need to do is get a cut. So I'll go over here, get my rectangle. I'll make something here. And I'm gonna highlight both of those objects. And I'll just set it to make the same width and make the same height. And then I'll center those items. So now I have my line. I'm going to set it to layer one. Let's do that this way. Let's set the line to layer one. And then we'll set my line to 10 and whatever your appropriate cut settings are. I know for my leather rat, I do 10 and 30 <coughs> air on. So what I want to do to make sure you have Z offset, you go up to Tools, I'm sorry, Edit on Lightburn, you go down to Device Settings. And you want to make sure Enable Z Access is checked. Right there, it's unchecked. So we, we'll, we'll check it right there, and then we'll hit OK. Then we go into our line. I've got my... I've got my focus right now set to 52.6. My optimal is 50.8. So I need to go down 1.8 millimeters to cut. So I double clicked here, I pull up this menu and I've got my Z offset. What you wanna do is just put in the amount you wanna go down. I wanna go down 1.8. And what that'll do is after it finishes the image, it will lower the laser head by 1.8 millimeters and make it the optimal height for cutting. So let's get this going and I'll show you. Okay, so now that I have that setting, we just get it to laser. I know I'm already framed. I've got my machine on, my fan, ready to go out the window. We'll hit start. This will only be about 52 seconds to do this whole thing. So we'll take it right over here and it's doing the engrave. You'll notice that after it finishes the engrave, you'll notice how slightly it moves. Now let's try to zoom in so we can catch that. But you Obviously this will work with any size piece you're doing. Generally I like it when I'm doing these smaller pieces. If I'm doing a bigger piece, it's taking a long time anyway. So not a big deal, but these small pieces, instead of having to keep, set your machine to engrave, stop, lower your laser head to cut, raise it back up or something else. So here we go. It's just about finished and slightly it moved down. Right to the optimal cut. And then after it's done, it moves back up. There you have it. So perfectly engraved with an offset and perfectly cut at the optimal distance. So I hope that helps you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm gonna post this video on YouTube, but be sure to like and follow this on the group. Like and follow it on YouTube. And you can like and follow me on Instagram if you wanna see some of the other cool stuff I make. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helped you.